Um, hi, my name is Maya. I'm a senior at Duchenne. My name is Marin, and I'm a senior. My name's Catherine, and I'm a senior. I'm Brianna, and I'm a sophomore. <laughs> and we're from Duchenne. And this poem is called The Modern Prometheus. Last December, I said that I wanted to go see the new Star Wars movie for my birthday. And someone looked at me up and down like I was an Ewok. Small. Adorable, void of substance, but, but it, it was, was cute, cute that I tried. Huh. I thought Star Wars was for boys. To the society who divides enjoyment into gender, it was a dreary night in November that I beheld the accomplishment of my toils, and, and with that one line, science fiction was birthed from its mastermind's brain, unfurled its infant fingers for the first time, and opened its yellow eyes, a genre shocked into a world not ready for universes built of science and, and horrors, injected with elements of real life. Mary Shelley wrote Frankenstein, and she was a woman. Dr. Victor Frankenstein created a creature expecting affection and unwavering devotion. But the creature broke away. Mary Shelley created a genre for her own enjoyment that and has since excluded members of her own sex. sex. Tumbling generations turned her opus against her. Branded it as a male gaze fantasy. Sought to silence women's participation and worlds deemed too dangerous for feminine curves. Do all those who have questioned a girl's passion for time and space Realize the first fan of science fiction was, was a, a teenage, teenage girl. girl. A dreamer who wanted to share a story about the spell of shutting people out just because they are different. How it demeans dignity. Makes stomachs drop in fear that spirit will never be enough when scrutiny rules society. Do people realize that Mary Shelley, the woman the world owes, every space alien and monster saga to, would probably reel in disgust and sorrow at the maltreatment of her creation? The preaching that not all imaginations are created equal. That certain stories are no longer about unifying fantasists, but rather, rather proving that you are one. Some galaxies are just too convoluted for the female mind. If Mary Shelley had foretold the havoc that would later wreak her life's work, would she have locked away her brain, nullifying her magical ideas into corpses? I like to think not. Rather, she would have said, Who are you to, to tell us are we unworthy of a bunch of seats in stardust that our gender is only good enough for gold bikinis and black spandex and disgustingly unrealistic high heels? Our, our minds can bend matter into stories pop culture would be lost without. We can create universes, we can raise civilizations, we can summon demons and heroes, we can make monsters. So, the next time you tell me Star Wars, Star Trek, X-Files, any superhero movie ever is just for boys, do me a favor and wonder what future fiction you have just shot at the 